cells and they are infected with a virus that will genetically change them so that they will now see and react against their leukemia cells. And we actually use the HIV virus to do that. So you're taking the HIV virus and infecting healthy cells with it to help kill cancer? Yes. The virus has been engineered so that it can't cause disease anymore. But it still retains the ability to reprogram the immune system so that it will now uh, attack cancer cells. We call those modified immune cells serial killer cells. Each infused cell can kill more than a thousand different tumor cells. But the reality is the dramatic responses of cancer to new treatments are very unusual. We need to make it clear when we talk to a family that it may not work. Emma was given her T-cell treatment and within a few days she was very sick. She had breathing difficulties, she had blood pressure difficulties. We knew that she could not have gotten any sicker without actually dying. But then a remarkable thing happened. The T cells were growing. They were starting to fight the cancer. Within hours, Emma's fever disappeared. It was like the calm after the storm. The clouds went away. And she woke up and there was no leukemia. When that child survived, it was a course amazing uh, uh, event.